All right, guys, today we're going to do another EDC rant. And what I mean by this is we're going to be talking about something that I am not a super large fan of in the EDC community, and primarily as it relates to knives. And this is don't make your knives billboards. And what I mean by this, and unfortunately and luckily, I don't have any good examples here, but I wanted to go over this trend that seems to be really pervasive, especially nowadays with EDC knives. And it's not just titanium frame locks, as a lot of knives are, but realistically, this trend towards making your knives billboards. And what I mean is essentially plastering the blade steel, the maker or manufacturer's logo, and just different information about the knife just plastered all over it. And I think um, we'll get into the Emerson here in a little bit. I think there is a tasteful way if you want to incorporate a lot of this information into your blade. But overall, I just see so many knives out there that have the maker's logo or brand just plastered all over it. Um, one really good example of this is Freeman knives where like they have magna cut blades and just the magna cut is just spelt out in large font, all caps, and it just doesn't look good. In my opinion, don't make your blades billboards. So honestly, I'm gonna show you guys some good blades that do a job, a pretty good job of telling you what you want to know about the blade, but without making it super obtrusive. And one of my favorites is Microtech, especially with their Ultratechs. Now, some Microtechs are a little bit more gaudy, but the Ultratech does a really good job. Obviously, you have the name there, you have the blade steel just right there, and then the manufacturer. On the other side, you got nothing. And what I actually kind of love about the Ultratechs is they are clever in the way that you have your blade steel, your country of origin, and your model there. And then if you do want to know the birth date of your knife, um, it does vary um, by model by model, but most of the modern Ultratechs now have their birth date um, right here. So you got your month and your year. Then of course, this is a signature line, so it has a signature, but you got your brand and then you got your serial number. So I really like how tasteful Microtech has done it where your blade doesn't feel like it's super like gummed up or, you know, showing just tons of information because that's the thing, like it's a knife, it's a tool. You don't want to be just like having the whole blade plastered with like, this is the Freeman knife with Magna Cut steel. Like, do I care about the steel? Sure. But is it a huge deal? No, these are tools. And another good example, as much of a hard time as I've given many of my Chris Reeves, I will say Chris Reeve does a really phenomenal job at branding. And as you can see here, there's really only just one thing. You got the logo right there. There's nowhere on here that says the blade steel. Now I will say the country of origin is also on the handle or I guess the state of origin or city technically, I guess, because it is boy or so you have the state here technically, but as far as it goes, like there's not a lot on here. And what I don't genuinely mind this. Now I will say, in my opinion, if a knife company does this, the blade should come with some kind of COA or certificate of authenticity that does state, you know, the birth date, the steel and stuff like that. But I don't mind if the blade doesn't have those things, so long as it has like a certificate that will tell you, you know, what this knife is actually made out of. In this case, that's what Chris Reeve does on their Sebenza and of course the Encosi here. And I just think it's actually really not a half bad option. Like it's really not too shabby. It keeps the blade looking really clean. And once again, that blade just has nothing on it, right? It's just the steel. But once again, even with the brand, the brand is very small, almost unnoticeable unless you're really looking for it. And of course, once again, the Idaho made is just subtly added in there. I think that those are really good examples that, you know, they're not trying to like shove the brand in your face. They just are what they are. And I think with like truly quality knives, at least speaking from a consumer standpoint, like if it's a quality blade, I don't need to know by looking at a logo, the quality should be there. Like if you open a blade like this Chris Reeve, it opens up fast, smooth, clean. The blade itself is very nice. The lock is obviously perfect. There's no lock rock. There's no lock stick. It's just a clean blade. Like if it's a good knife, it'll speak for itself. Another one that is a little less um, 
that does have a little bit more information on the blade would be your Spyderco Para 3 Paramilitary 2s. But once again, this is pretty darn clean. Like you don't have any large billboarding going down the length of the blade. You have, you know, Spyderco's logo, Sal Glesser's logo. You have the country slash everything where this is made. And then I should technically say that that's Sal and, or Sal and Eric Glesser's um, logo. So I guess you got both of them on there. But either way, and then you have the Spyderco and blade steel, which I do think is pretty important because Spyderco releases these blades in so many different steels. It is important to know which one. But overall, once again, there's no billboarding running down the length of the blade. It's pretty clean and it's a small font. And this is what I mean. Like you can see outside of the steel itself, this is not in all caps, even on this side, it's not in all caps. It's not like screaming at you um, what it is or where it came from. Now, once again, talking about billboarding in knives, I think that Emerson is probably one of the best if you are going to go for this style. And so here you do have everything but the blade steel. You have your Emerson, obviously the logo, or sorry, you have Emerson, which is the brand. You have the model number or model name in this case. So you have your horseman there. Of course, your country of origin is just under it. Sorry if it's kind of hard to see. Um, this lighting is not always the best, but then you have your birth year there. And then of course there's some random uh, kind of patent numbers for the wave feature. And then you have your serial number up here. But once again, uh, not all of this is like in all caps and very, but once again, this isn't like in all caps screaming at you very large. It is ironically in all caps, but it's very small and very non-noticeable. And then once again, even with this billboarding, that's the only thing. Your show side has all of the information. There's nothing anywhere else on this knife. Now I do realize some clips that you can get from Emerson do have Emerson on them, but really outside of that, like there's nothing on this knife. It's clean and that's how it is with most Emersons. Um, Here's another example, and this one actually will probably show up better on the camera because it's white on black. But once again, you'll see here that you know you have your year, you have your model, your country of origin, some patents, and then your serial numbers tucked up under the thumb disc. But once again, turn it, there's nothing. You know, like there's there's nothing else on this blade. So it's very clean, very um, you know unobtrusive. So I will say I do think billboarding can be done correctly. Like you can put all of this stuff on a knife. Just, I hate to see it when it's running the whole length of both sides of the blade. And you know, like I get as a manufacturer, you want to be proud of your product, but there's, I think a tasteful and untasteful way to do that. And so there's companies, once again, I talked about Freeman, but there are others out there. I just can't uh, remember their names at the moment. But definitely there are quite a few companies out there, especially nowadays that are like billboarding their products with everything you need to know about the manufacturer and the steel and all that. And it's like, great, that's cool, but I don't need it technically. And in my opinion, if you put all of that information on a certificate of authenticity, sold the knife with the COA, that's good enough for me. I don't need anything on the blade specifically. All right, guys, that's all I had to say about don't make your knives billboards, please. As always, God bless, and I'm out.